on everybody it's J-Man finally back with you finally back with you had a little incident with the uh, helmet uh, about a couple weeks ago and I've been having nothing but problems with the footage I've been grabbing the last couple days so hopefully I got it fixed what happened on my helmet was I went to go uh, let's see I went to go set it down on the dresser and next thing I know it fell Right, and unfortunately the left visor clip uh, hit something and cracked the left visor clip and so my visor was popping off all the time, all the time. And uh, so I was like, mother fuck. So then I contacted uh, my buddies at Redzilla and ordered a new visor clip and it showed up in just a quick couple days. So that was awesome. And uh, you know, I've been riding since, but the footage I've been grabbing the last couple days has been shit. Either my mic was in the wrong place, or I had an SD card error. Oh yeah, by the way, I had to get a brand new SD card because the one I had had a busted pin on it. I don't know how that happened. Oh, look at this clusterfuck. Uh, I don't know if I wanna do this. Oh yeah, by the way, got a new helmet. You probably saw that in the last vlog, if you even watched it. Uh, I apologize about the audio setup on that. Uh, I was having to use my iPhone, but I wanted to show you the new helmet. And, you know, wearing a helmet and talking to an iPhone, the audio doesn't really work out too great. You know, it's very muffled. But, hey, it is what it is. But I finally got all the bells and whistles put together. All right. I'll look at this guy trying to go. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm just gonna wait because he's gonna back on up because he's a dumbass. Yeah, I got all the little bells and whistles. Finally got the little remote there so I could see when I'm recording. Because that was my problem yesterday. I went to drive up, I went up the five north to Harbor Drive. You know, drove through downtown San Diego during the Padres game, had a lot of good interactions. Unfortunately, didn't get a single one on freaking the GoPro. Ah, ah, ah. I finally got to a, uh, I finally got to a stop sign, a really long stop, or a stop light rather, because there was a train going through. And I look, I look in the mirror, I go like this, and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm not recording, god damn it, ah, ah, right? I was so pissed. And then all, the rest of the footage I got was just on the way home, on the highway, and you know, it's highway plus GoPro, not, not very conducive. There's a whole bunch of wind noise wasn't very uh, conducive to your ears. Anyway, I got uh, got some updates on my friend Raging R6. Hopefully he should be back riding tomorrow uh, after his wreck. I'm not going to get in details about his wreck. If you want to check that out, go to his channel Raging R6. That's uh, all one word, Raging R6. Go check out his channel for all the details on that. But uh, yeah, he should, he's should. he been getting his bike fixed. His uh, knee's doing a whole lot better. So we should be back moto vlogging tomorrow. And guess what? I'm back! For good, I hope, this time. Hopefully I don't have any more bad luck. This, uh, I don't know, these past couple weeks have just been the worst for me. Before I get to the highway here, I'm gonna tell you about a little story, uh, story, that ha something that happened to me a couple, about a week and a half ago. I was taking the five north to the 15 north ramp. I was with a couple of riding buddies and they said, hey, 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 stop, 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 pull over, hey. They're making gestures towards my, making gestures towards my jacket. And they're like, hey, your jacket flew out, your, your wallet flew out, your wallet flew out. I didn't know what the hell they were saying. We weren't connected on Bluetooth. Well, we finally get probably, you know, 10 miles away and they pulled off. I kept going, so I pulled off for the next exit. Find out what the hell, so I called them. They said, yeah. Your wallet flew out on the 15 North ramp. I was like, oh shit. All right. By the time I got to circle around to the 15 North ramp, you know, the back, all the way back down 15 to the five, to five North, five South to back to five North to the 15 ramp. Couldn't find it, could not find it. I was so upset, so upset. I immediately went to the DMV, got ordered a new license went to the uh, called called Navy Fed called Navy Fed and uh, canceled my debit card and my credit card immediately 
you know, I was really distraught. I was so upset. Well, luckily the next day, you know, thank, I just want to thank this guy so much. I didn't catch his name, but he, uh, I get a knock on my door about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, who the hell is this? He's like, hey man, I saw your bike downstairs and I recognized it. And I think you might've lost something yesterday. I said, oh my God, you found my wallet, didn't you? And he said, yes, yes, yes. I found your wallet. I found your wallet. When he gave it back to me. The only thing that was missing in there was like a couple, well, I'm not really going to get into it, but the, the things that could be replaced. Right. So that was very good. So luckily I got my wallet, you know, I got my wallet back the next day, but I didn't have any debit cards or credit cards or anything for until Tuesday, this, just this past Tuesday, Memorial Day, you know, Memorial Day weekend. So I was stuck at home all Memorial Day weekend, no money to get gas or anything like that. So I didn't go ride, but luckily I got everything back and we're all good to go now. Just had an interesting little session on the five though guy that I came up to that light with his uh, chain was loose and uh, he had to pull off immediately and go fix that shit <laughs> poor guy man I would have helped him but I'm on a mission today and see right now I'm on uh, where am I right now where am I harbor and eight we got a uh, one of the naval air or one of the naval bases just here to my left and another naval base like over here and over there and over there and over there Right. Those big, uh, those big, like, beige, and, oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Those big, uh, beige and green buildings up there, those are actually, uh, I think they're called the Pacific Beacon. That's where all the, all the sailors in school, like, stay and everything, if they're eligible, like, a certain pay grade and whatnot. Oh, look at this, because he was here yesterday. Dude! Yeah, those uh, those tall ones over there, just uh, just basically barracks or apartments, if you would. And then we got the Navy Gateway over here, but you see this big long train here, right? Every single morning on Harbor Drive, about six o'clock in the morning, this train likes to go through, right? It goes that way and cuts off traffic coming off the uh, 15, 15 South exit at 32nd Street cuts off all that traffic right so this area in the morning is an absolute clusterfuck absolute clusterfuck but for now we're not going to turn into any of these bases actually no i do need to go this way Ugh. i need to go get some gas yeah right here right here this is where the trolley goes through right here this is the trolley Ugh. Uh, but this is the train. That's what really folks with everybody. All right, now, as empty as this road may be, it's for a very good reason. Hey, it's Sunday, right? But nobody goes on this road if they don't have to. The, the condition of this road is absolute shit. Absolute shit. We got potholes, tar lines, just everywhere. Everywhere. So today we're gonna play it. We're gonna head up to downtown, but on the way we're gonna play a game of dodge potholes. I mean, the dodge potholes is a game that uh my buddy here to talk, he, he's a motor blogger out of uh the front range there out in Colorado. He did a video of him uh, riding his Hawk GT up, up to Pikes Peak. And that was amazing. Unfortunately, I don't have any mountains too close to me down here. You know, snow capped ones that I can't really, uh, you know, climb up. So for now, we're just gonna go deal with the beautiful, we're gonna go see the beautiful, absolutely beautiful downtown San Diego. This guy, man, he's seen some shit. He's seen some shit. Oh, this is much better than yesterday. Much better than yesterday. When I was riding up here, the sun was right about there. And oh, it's just absolutely blinding. I was going ah, ah, the whole time. But it helped save the day for about five seconds. Uh, 
five seconds. There's a game going on yesterday right here at Petco Park. So, you know, it's real crowded out here. A lot of people hanging out in the gas lamp district. A lot of interesting folks. Let's say interesting characters. And just to my left here, that's the wonderful San Diego Convention Center. Where every year they host the San Diego Comic Con. Didn't get my tickets this year. I'm pretty bummed out. I'm pretty bummed out I didn't get my tickets. But hey, there's always next year. There's always next year. guy doing what I hope that lady's okay I'm not in the current situation to turn around and you know block traffic even more by finding out what's going on but I sure hope she's all right Oh, I don't know if that's heartburn or what, but, oh, oh man. Hmm. Nice little pain in my chest, that felt good. Hmm. Let's go this way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Southwest Airlines flying into Singing International. If it looks like they're low, it's because they are. Alright, guys. Time to get back on the highway. If it's been sounding like I'm in a little bit of pain, it's because I am. Every time I lift my left arm, I get this really sharp pain in my chest. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just keeping my arm low right now. And uh, I'll check it out when I get home. I know it's not the best idea, but I'm not really in a situation to pull over the side of the road night right now because it's one dangerous, two fuck that. back on the bike and go home it hurts like hell <clears throat> if this was a heart attack I'd know it by now just let this be a testament to everybody out there just take care of your body I do as best as I can 
probably not. I mean, I should say the best I can. I mean, I take care of my body. But, uh, sometimes life just comes out there to fight you in the ass. Or in my case, right in the chest right now. It feels like something smashed into me at about 100, 100 miles per hour, but I know that's not what happened. Alright guys, well that is going to conclude today's episode. I will let you know on Twitter and Instagram and every every other means of social media with the exception of Facebook. Don't have Facebook yet. I mean I do for you know myself, but not for this channel. So don't try and stalk me that much. <laughs> yeah, I will give you the news on uh, what the hell is happening with my chest and why it hurts so fucking bad. Probably on Twitter. But uh... Yeah, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And please, don't forget to subscribe. And also check out my buddy Raging R6. Okay, Raging R6 and Bearded Hawk. I'll put their links down in the description below. As always, have an awesome day. And talk to you guys, to, talk to you guys later. Peace! Tell me that you love